Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah A question was asked about the beginning books to study and we mentioned some books and one of the comments from one of our brothers may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us in him and forgive us in him and bless us in him with that which is good he mentioned that we missed some very important books and one of the books he mentioned was uh, Said, Said Qutb's uh, book Milestones among other books but I just want to really speak about that and why that was not included in the list of uh, texts that were essential for a new Muslim to follow in fact I would say if the Ummah lost all of Said Qutb's books it would not harm them in the least. And in fact, I would further say from the statements of the ulama and from reading and spending extensive time as I did in my master's thesis, looking in his books, especially in his tafsir and some of his other books uh, and milestones and those who criticized him, that I would say that it would probably do the ummah a great justice if his books were disposed of. And the reason I say this, so this is not something for not just the beginning Muslim, but for any Muslim really to read those books. Why? Doesn't mean that there might be some good that's contained. There's no good that's contained in there. You'll find good probably probably in, in, in many books and I won't go into details. But what I will say is this, is that he was a reviver. Aside from being uh, the transforming figure or a pillar and a push for transforming the organization Ikhwana Muslimin to a more takfiri or, uh, oriented uh, movement, many of the modern takfiri groups, especially those in the 80s and the 90s, Al-Qaeda included, Jamaat al-Takfir wa Hijra, um, and some of the other uh, various movements were all deeply influenced by his work. And you'll find in their countless posts and in their messages between one another and on their forums and in their very books and treatises praise for him and his book as a tool for awakening. And in fact, if we analyze what he did, he was a tool for awakening the methodology of the Khawarij, of making takfir of whole societies. In fact, the whole earth. He had statements like, and if I had his book in front of me, I would mention some of the exact quotes, but I'll give you a paraphrase, that there are no Muslims left on the earth. This is what he said in 1960 probably 1960, in the, in the 60s, when, I think he was killed in 1966, executed in 66. So he has countless statements that no matter how those who defend him tried to say that it, it wasn't takfir and he wasn't making takfir of all the Muslims, he opened the most dangerous and evil of doors, probably without even realizing it, to reviving a wicked thought that so many piggybacked and so many deviated and so many spilt blood in the lands of the Muslims and around the earth and tainted and destroyed the da'wah of Ahl Sunnah with da'wah ghayda Ahl Sunnah, the da'wah of Muslims, by these wicked thoughts. Because what branches from them are groups like, uh, in contemporary times, from ISIS, Boko Haram, uh, 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 Shabab, and other deviant jihadi groups. And so, I will be very clear that those books will never be on a list of should read, and I encourage the brother to reassess what he said and to learn, to study, because what from Akita is in that book, his whole thesis, if you will, in his book is about Hakamiya, about rulership. And before him, and someone who was influential on him, was uh, Al Maududi in, uh, I believe, India. 
And he was, uh, his asl, he memorized the Quran, he also made a tafsir Quran, but his origin was that he was a newspaper writer. Said Qutb was an adib, he was a, a, liter, um, a person of literature. Okay, that was his specialty. His specialty wasn't deen, but yet he spoke extensively on topic and he made a tafsir of the Quran because he was very strong in the Arabic language, linguistically very strong. But so many statements, statements that incline uh, you know, us to believe that he perhaps might have been a supporter of Wahdat al-Wujud. You know of that the you know that there is that Allah is within His creation or Allah is one with His creation, perhaps you know. But he had so many statements that were so general and so dangerous that uh, are having a an Im implication for Aqidah that you don't need to read books like that because they can lead people to deviance and dalal. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.